Hi everyone, welcome to my audit screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Autodesk Point Layout and using the functionality to place um, anchor bolt points, if you will, on a slab. This is similar in functionality to a screencast that I did earlier, and you can search for that as well. So in this design, we have in Revit Architecture 2016, two pieces of slab on a column grid, nothing more. What I'd like to do is I'd like to place anchor bolts so many feet by so many feet apart in, on this slab. How do we normally go about thinking about placing something like this? We could take the family, load it in, place it, and then array it. Yeah, that's cool. Makes sense, right? But we want to look at it from the standpoint of Autodesk Point Layout because it's got us some neat, interesting tools. We'll go over here to Autodesk Point Layout tab in the ribbon, add points, we'll click face, and we'll specify the face via grid method and in decimal feet and the spacing that we want, let's say 4 by 4 Hit OK. Uh, we can give it a description if we want to. We'll call it um, anchor bolt uh, inserts, something like that. We'll hit OK, and we'll select the face of that concrete slab. Now that we've done this, we can see these points are our Autodesk point layout points. How do we take these points? Obviously, we'll delete the ones we don't need, so just delete those. And let's say we'll delete, uh, let's not pick by face. And we'll pick these and get rid of them. And then if we have to, we, you know, we can we can reposition them however we want to. So this is a quick way to do the array. But these points, again, are nothing more than families. So we can edit this family. And we can actually load in another family if we wanted to, or replace this one. And we'll head over to my computer, temp, and we'll put in the driving pin. And we'll just place it for now. We'll head over to the reference level. We'll get rid of this point that we have. And then we'll just move this to where we want to move it via aligning and locking. Now that that's finished, it's nothing more than an anchor pin. We save it and load it into the project. Overwrite the existing one. And now if we look at it in 3D, we can see our pins have been placed accordingly. If you wanted to, in a similar fashion, you can use the Autodesk Point Layout tool to place the control points on the grid place it on the level that we want to work with, and select the intersections of the grid that we want to work with, hit Finish, and it'll place those points. If we zoom in, we can see those points are no longer points because, remember, we swapped the family. So now that they're anchoring pins. If we take this approach and this design thinking, we can use it to create a wall where we put these pins in a gridded fashion and make it look like a fabric wall where it's pinned down. And so this is a quick screencast on how to use Autodesk Point Layout to put uh, anchor bolts, if you will, in a gridded fashion on a concrete slab. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.